We join the Super Legit crew before the show as we deal with cricket problems again, although they're a little too subtle for even you to hear. Can anyone hear that cricket? Yes. Oh, 100%. no. It's not me. Is it me? Um, Do I have yes, a Jen. Friend? You, you are a cricket, Jen. Could be. Um, I will say it very likely is me simply because I, uh, my hearing is blown to where I can't hear crickets. So uh, I wouldn't so, even know. But it's so it's so background. It's not it's so prominent. It would yeah. honestly it'll be Okay. It'll it'll yeah. you won't even hear it on the It'll fall out of the mix. Okay. And that's extra easy for Sanders to say now that he's not editing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can uh, fix it in post. Don't worry. We'll paint it right out. We'll only do night scenes. Let me just real quick. Oh, it's gone anyway. All right. Well then you know, okay. it it'll be what it'll be. I will say that cricket, uh, I actually hired uh, he's now my comedy coach, and he was just giving me a particularly harsh review mm. of the anecdote that I told earlier. But Stephen, so. you can't hear crickets. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's I. I also can't hear criticism. Yep. Oh, so, well, this perfect. works for yeah. you. Oh, that honey well spent. Oh. What a tight, tight premise. That was beautiful. <laughs> Super Legit Podcast, everyone. Season three premiere. We got picked up again. Yes. Oh, my God. It was touch and go there for a while, but we renewed ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Thank good. Our upfronts were just yeah. not as spectacular as they should have been, but we did pick ourselves up. That was great. We did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we cut the budget a bit. Uh, everyone gets only one green M&M per episode. I didn't get so. mine. That's mine on layaway. Well, the, that you all were only getting one to begin with, so your budget oh. cut to zero. It's okay. in the mail. Well, it's, I still have the, the original one, which I keep in a box. This is why you need to yeah. negotiate oh. better your contract. No. no also, you're, you're uh, speaking fine. of season three, uh, Jet, fuck yes. off. Um, I'm doing a heel turn. Yes. Cue the Steve mm-hmm. Austin glass breaking. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I Here like comes this. St. James. Here comes St. James coming down. Oh, I He's hate got it. a chair. What's going to happen? Boo. Boo Jack. Yeah, I don't like you anymore. <sighs> oh, <laughs> oh. I, people can't see me, but I am doing the, the, the face of Vince McMahon from the meme before we all... No, it wasn't even before. We all hated him anyway. He was. We knew he was garbage, but somehow he got more garbagey. What the hell? Not a wrestling podcast. Anyway, I am your host, Jared Lennon Kaufman. Uh, let's rattle off the amazing people that I have in front of me on this screen. We have Josh Spence. This could be a wrestling podcast, though, right? No. We have Jen okay. Burton. I don't even know who it is. Vince. <laughs> we have Chris Sanders. I wasn't listening. Stephen C. James. I'm sorry. I was busy wrestling with my inner demons. <laughs> Aren't we all? And Sean Michael Boozer. My IT band is way too tight to even get in the ring. So uh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that describes all of us at this point. At least those of us who know what an IT band is. I don't, but I like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thing along your leg. It's between. Uh... On the side of your leg, from your like hip to your knee. Oh, I thought it was yeah. like the It band. That like right. that's like the new popular band. I was like, all right, I'm in. Yeah, the band Pennywise. That's where I'd keep my sword if I was cool, and <laughs> like in some society where we carried swords. <sighs> what am I doing? How am I starting season three? Oh my god! We can start over. And <laughs> Let's a start podcast. it with the question. <laughs> We don't have right. uh, we don't have Michael Hyman this week, so it is Yay! on me. No, we no, love we Michael Hyman, Michael. and we miss him. I miss him mm. when he's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, our question for our season premiere comes from listener Tank Masterson, <laughs> and the question is: If you were a superhero, what would your power be, and what would your hilarious weakness be? So we don't have a guest for me to throw this immediately to. So I'm just going to stare intently at my screen and see who. Will... Oh, it's Steven's Steven. Got it. Steven's yeah, got the I mean, answer. I, yes. Uh, I know this one because it is the most powerful of all superpowers. Uh, there's a nine year old in my house. So I have this conversation a lot, <laughs> like so much. <laughs> yeah. About like, well, what would your superpower be if that couldn't be it? Because the number one thing is the ability to stop time. Right. Sure. That's yes. the number one superpower. 
It's the thing where if you were a good guy, a bad guy, uh, just a person living your life, it would be the number one superpower to make you instantly overpowered. Right. Right. Yeah. Because I could, you know, I could like if I was in a battle with somebody, I could freeze time, destroy them, disarm them, blah, blah, blah. And then unfreeze time. But in order to make that a, a, a power that wouldn't make me boring the way that Superman can be, mm-hmm. I would still have my Stephen C. James sense of time. <laughs> so the same part of me that makes me 12 minutes late everywhere or makes me like, I should just keep staying up. I would still have my sense of like, no, no, no. I got plenty of time. And then the bad guy's like, actually, I've already robbed that bank. And I'm like, damn it. I thought, oh, man. I uh, Can I can I jump so in yeah, on this? That, that would be it. Dude, Please. you know what? Like, that would be my superpower as well, would be able to freeze time. But not to like, I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not a superhero. I'm, I'm just mm. Shawn, Shawn Michael here. So I would just, you know, like those things that later on when you're like, I need time to process things. When things have happened yes. to me yeah. or things that have been said to me, Ooh. like if I feel, you know, you feel something's not right or you feel like you should respond or you feel like I would love to just have that time to process, you know, just tap right. the pause button, maybe take a walk around the block, maybe go uh, have a, <laughs> a, a, a bowl of ice cream right. and think about how I'm going to respond. And, you know, time just to produce a call, a comeback. Yes. Yeah. And not just, <laughs> just the proper response as opposed to like, I, that would be, that would be my superpower. Super. Wow. So you are, um, you're breaking up with me. That's right. This is completely unexpected. Uh, um, I don't, oh, I, I am complete. Hold on a second. All right, uh, I'm just going to take this pocket of time to process this breakup. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, time buddy. You know what? How's it going? Hey. Oh, uh, it's good, it's good to be here. Uh, I'm stuck between the folds of time. Uh, I honestly... Thank yeah. you. Thank you for pausing it so I can, like, breathe again and think. It's oh. just, you have no idea how horrible oh. it is when time is running and I don't exist. Uh, yeah. Uh, right but not now, to make this I'm all about me, lo- that, you know, what's no, your problem? No, no, no. I, I've stopped into this liminal space because Sharon, uh, mm-hmm. Sharon just broke up with me, man. Mm-hmm. Three mm-hmm. years, dude. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Part uh, of me thinks maybe we've been spending too much time together. No, 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 please, please, no, 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 you buddy, buddy, It's just like my bad buddy. because you cease to exist whenever I'm in the regular time stream, and I feel like I've been, yeah. Listen, Robbie, you know Robbie, hey, Robbie, you Robbie, know Robbie, 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 chill, chill out, just be with me in this moment, forget everything out there in real time, and be with me, your best friend. You know what? You're right, Doug, you're totally right, okay, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to be fine. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and up time. No, no, no. So that no, way no, I, no, can, no, I can, no, 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 no. I need to no. finish this dinner with Sharon. No, no, no. You I need to finish. We can eat together. We can eat together. There's, you No, you, no, I gotta, no, I gotta. I I've, have I've never gotten... had fettuccine Alfredo. Never. I have never tasted uh, it. I have only geez. seen it. No, no. And that's why, and that's, why is your face all wet? Why is your face... All- you went there again. You were with Doug. Uh, I can't believe this. I'm sitting it, here for a full wh- microsecond. And off you go into the liminal space with your good well, friend, Doug. I will let you know, Sharon. What I was doing was I was processing uh, the news that I was no longer in this relationship with you. All right? Well, I can and see you know from what? the tears think- on your face that it's affected you in a negative way. Um... Well, uh, and now I am over it, whereas you are still going to have to figure out what you're going to do uh, so that oh, you can well, have Well, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to press pause on time. How do you like them apples? Uh, Here I go. No, 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 Let no, me no, go process. It's dark in here. Sharon? What? Sharon, is that you? Are you Doug? Are you motherfucking Doug? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't come out so strong. Okay. Now I see what's happening. You know how long I've been hearing about you, bud? Huh? Do you know how long I've been hearing about you? Now I see what he sees in you. For the last ten years, you've been putting... Your eyes! Yeah, I have them. I don't live in a liminal space. They sparkle. Yeah, I wear contact lenses. And your hair, the my way hair. it flows down your shoulders. That's right, I, got a, right. I got a Brazilian blowout. Oh my god, I, I can see why he was in so much pain at the loss. You are Doug, you're stunning. You got a real, I got a real problem with you, pal. I had oh. a good relationship going until he met you, his good buddy Doug. And did, yeah. Did you though? Did you? Did you really have a good relationship? I mean, well, he didn't complain, and he didn't cry all the time. And now, no, he, he and now, he complained to me. Yeah, he I know he. To me. No, see, like I, I never you, would. You've been planting I would never seeds. I complain about you. Doug, we can't do this. Oh, I think we can. Why don't you stay a little longer? Oh, what are you doing with your ghost hand? <sighs> this is okay. Like I got it. Listen, I gotta, I gotta, I don't feel comfortable. I'm pushing back the time. No, no, I push back time. Listen, Doug, quit bragging about how much you had fun on that hot date you were kept telling me about, and let's have some fettuccine Alfredo. No, I don't care about fettuccine Alfredo anymore. Fettuccine uh, Alfredo is nothing compared to Sharon. Sharon is my fettuccine Alfredo. The only thing I got in that whole story that you were telling me was that you've never had fettuccine Alfredo, and I think that's a big crime against the universe. So, so fettuccine you Alfredo. Time to just bring me fettuccine Alfredo. I think once you have fettuccine Alfredo, you'll forget all about girls. Listen, I was in this space just, I, I, was, I would say, Waiting for hours fettuccine ago, Alfredo. minutes ago. I, I don't know how any of the time thing works, but I would have loved, I would have killed for fettuccine Alfredo before I met Sharon. And I feel for it now. That's how much it means to me. And I think as your fourth-ranked best friend, you owe me this obligation. Hey, Doug. Oh, man, it's so good to be back in this liminal space with you. I... Hey, what's that? Uh... Hey, there... What? Is that... Is that sauce on your face? No. Dude. What? Why? Uh, But now... uh, Oh, you've been... uh, uh, mm. Mm. You've been hanging out with Sharon and eating fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, not cool, man. So what if I have? So what if I have? Maybe, maybe, maybe she's oh. willing to actually stay here long enough to have a complete two-way conversation where my thoughts and feelings are accounted for, huh? Huh? Maybe, Dude, maybe, maybe we connect code. at a deep emotional level, and maybe uh, we connect more. Co- I don't know. I don't right. know. I'm not saying. You know, Time a gentleman doesn't talk. I'm just saying. Girl dreams. What happened, man? That's not a phrase. Come on. That's not a. That's not. A, I don't. It's I assume totally that's, a phrase. Okay. Well, Haven't you seen Back to the Future Four? It's totally a phrase. No, should I see All it? Right? I mean, I, now I don't think you should, because it's a great movie, and I don't want you to have joy. Oh man. You know what? You I'm, I'm going to go. Like no, that. I'm just. I'm. No, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to the phone call that I was on, where I was begging Sharon to take me back. So no, why don't no, you, you just can't do that. Enjoy no, she's mine now. Um, sorry, I guess I must have just had a bad connection for a second there. Uh, sorry if my phone cut out, because that's I what happened. My phone cut out. I can smell the fettuccine Alfredo through the phone. <laughs> oh, I, can, I know damn what you, you did. Apple. I know where it, yeah, the smell of vision <laughs> did, you, did, you, uh, did you go in there and tell him that I, time dreams I times did. before girl times <laughs> times yes time streams before girl dreams yeah. all right yeah i yeah, did i saw told that him. written in your journal i know what this is all about you just want to have your cake and eat it. you want your fettuccine alfredo and you want to eat it too you want to have the time yeah. space yeah. with doug and then you also want to have the relationship with me well buddy you can't have both yeah well, both of those things would be like having a cake made out of fettuccine Alfredo, every boy's dream. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, what? A cake made out of fettuccine Alfredo. It would be like the most delicious and rich dessert of all times. Like a healthy relationship with you and a strong friendship with Doug would be. Robbie, we are broken up. 
I can't with your kid. Damn it! You can't. I can't with this kid. Look, I'm going to be with Doug inside of the liminal space for a little while. Just don't call me, all right? Oh, mm, oh. hey, Sharon. Oh, um, let me just put this uh, fettuccine Alfredo cake down. Hey, good to see you. Mm, uh, oh. There is only one person yeah. who would ba- make and even conceive of a fettuccine Alfredo cake. Oh, and that uh, is Robbie. Robbie, just come out. Just come out. I know you're in here. Hey, Sharon. God damn it. God we, damn you too. We kind of we, we kind of made up. He he brought me cake. Yeah. The best kind of the only kind of cake boys like. Well, I hope you're very happy together. I'm gonna be outside in the real time realm, just making regular pasta that isn't shaped like a cake. I don't know, Weirdos. maybe you can stay in here with us until we find out. Okay, all right. Wow. Just worth a shot. I miss you. Hello, miss. Welcome to the Olive Garden. It seems like a uh, reservation for one. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, actually, we don't have any booths or tables. We're just going to put you in our uh, bar section. Is that okay? Just it's fine. table for one? Okay. And uh, let me just tell you the specials we have today. It is uh, fettuccine Alfredo. All oh, you God can eat. damn it. I got to get out of here. Ugh. Isn't there any place that does not serve fettuccine Alfredo and remind me of the deep emotional pain I've been in? Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Um, are you using the app today? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, then, then you probably know about our special, the uh, fettuccine nuggets. Uh, oh, damn it. Just... I am driving through the drive through and not in a good way! <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> you, you know one of my, my favorite things about this podcast? Is like my my dream, uh-huh. uh, which was to, to freeze time so I'd have time to respond. I yeah. I, I found out what the actual um, my weakness is in yes. this dream is that I would still be me, and so there yeah. would not it would not serve me at all. Right. So yeah. Yeah. you, you mm-hmm. still wouldn't come up with the yep. actual good comeback. Uh, yeah, <laughs> until yeah. you'd given up on it. <laughs> All right, who's got another superpower, or do we want to explore that one a little bit more? Well, I have another one. Ooh, yes, um, please. So, um, but it's kind of a classic, but I'm going to expand on it a little bit. So I want to be invisible, uh, mm-hmm. which is a classic mm-hmm. one, but only oh, yeah. so that I can stop. It's a little bit related to freezing time in that what I want to do is I want people to think that I'm not there so I can make them stop doing the things I don't want them to do. So this is mostly apartment related. So what I would do is, is I would, and I've had fantasies about this. So like my upstairs neighbors will be blasting their music. I just wait invisibly outside of their door until they open it. And then I sneak in. Yep. And then I go in and I wait for them to leave. And then they leave and then I just change all their Bluetooth settings. (laughs) Or I, or I, or I, or I get, or I don't know. Why would I just you do just things. shut it off while they're, you can't No, I would, you. I would shut it off, but I want right, to have permanent power. I want to have like permanent mm-hmm. power to shut it off whenever I want. Delete all their playlists. To delete all their playlists, yeah. to like turn it into, or yeah. there's a truck that parks outside of my apartment. You don't need to be invisible to make this happen. You realize no. that, right? percent <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> you could just yeah, break, break into their, into their apartment. apartment. I'm not. No, I mean, especially no. If you're waiting until I don't want to yeah. be a criminal. I'm just an invisible person yeah, who happens you're, to you're be just, in that area. You want to be an invisible criminal? But but nobody knows. Jen, I'm a no, criminal. Jen is aware of consequences. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't okay. Jen is like, right. I Thank want you, the things Steven. I want without consequences. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I just know you're a criminal if you don't get caught just breaking into their apartment. Okay. All right. Criminal. So I break into their apartment, but I don't change anything or steal anything. But I knock things over like a ghost, so they're scared and they move. Does that count? Uh, I like yeah, that. you can yeah. Scooby yeah, Do it. One. But what's yeah. your yeah. I'll Scooby Do it. What's your my end game is just to get them to go away what's and your be shut up. Weakness with this <laughs> invisibility. Okay, my weakness with it is that um, so I can't. Even though I'm invisible, I can't mm. cover up my footsteps or the sound of me. So if oh. I sneeze, then I still it's as if I'm in the room. So you could you could bump into me. If I if I happen to be in your way, so I'm not uh-huh. like I'm still a physical Here's... person who can make sounds, and like my presence could be known if I step on a creaky spot. But I but I'm but I'm still invisible. I I, I don't. Here's I don't a Jen Burton question. Here, but that's do you that's, have allergies? That's not so much a weakness. Mm-hmm. That's just the mm-hmm. laws of being just invisible. The limitation. Just, 
Yeah. You're only in no, well, let me think. Okay, I'll think about. I'll think about yeah. a more hilarious weekend. <laughs> okay, weakness. you can you can see my hair, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh. How about just your bangs? That just, just your my bangs. bangs. No, you can see that. it's just floating. Oh, that's great! Oh. I, just the bangs is oh, great because because the whole head of hair that would be is, scary. Like, is too easy to see. But just the bangs, you right. can like hide yourself as a mustache. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, I just get down in front of a person. You're right. See, is that oh, Josh or Jim? I don't know. I, that is. There you go. You don't That's... need to knock shit around. If I see in corporal <laughs> floating bangs things. floating yeah. around my home, Yo. I'm just burning the place down. I saw like... corporal bangs at the Wiltern and they fucking crushed. They were so good. They warmed up for girl dreams. So good. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's what I uh, that's what I would do. And it would just be about like making people stop. It's just like an effort to have control. Super. Dude, did you turn down my stereo again? Oh, oh. I always keep the stereo on 37, and now it's on 12. Y yeah, I turned it down because it was too loud. Oh. I mean, okay. I, en I enjoy being roommates with you. Uh, you keep your stuff on the left side of the fridge. I keep mine on the right. Uh, you always pay your bills on time. I pay uh -huh. my bills on time. Yeah. Um, when tandem parking happens, we always like get our schedules ready for the week. But yeah, um, got this. these walls are thin, and you play your music too damn loud. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Okay, no, as long as you did it, that's cool. I thought I was getting haunted or something, but as long as it's just you, well, there's nothing ho wrong Well, hold here. on, let's invest. You you think okay. that um, some uh, beings from another plane are worried uh -huh. about your stereo, and they would that, that is the one thing that they would do, is turn it down? It's, it's <laughs> what my mind immediately jumped to, yeah, when I saw it. It's like... There's no more logical explanation than an incorporeal being came into my room and fucked with my, uh, my stereo levels. Oh, no, that was me. Um, okay. That was me. Um, but while we're talking about your stereo, can we also talk about your musical uh, choices? I mean, if you want to, yeah. Like, yeah. I love talking about music. I don't well, know no, much about no. it, but I love See, talking about it. Well, here's the thing. Um, your musical choices are not so musical as it's all Gregorian chant all the time, and that is not cool, man. It's very. Can we talk about the scare quotes you put around musical choices? Because that was confrontational. I don't feel it's as con we confrontational have... as it was uh, more dismissive. Okay. All right. No, I appreciate. Uh, uh, okay. I like us having a talk about uh, grammar and language. Like that's cool. That's that's where we connect. I love I just, words. I, me too, man. Me too. But what I don't like is when you rap words in sarcasm meant to wound. And I feel like we have a better relationship than that normally, but just now it came across as, I'm going to use your word, dismissive. Uh, that I hear you, and I, I understand where you're coming from, but may I say that maybe you should, um... Ooh. Wait, did... Go on, man. Go on. You're, you don't. You're you don't hear that? Me. It's me. You what? I'm who? Go who? Miles Davis. Ooh. I don't know who that is. I, I came person. in. This, this is the stupidest fucking conversation I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm one of the best trumpet players in of all time. I don't know much. Why about do you sound like maybe you guys were gonna? That. If it's not Chance or whatever, like I don't know who you are. It's it's. It's Ugh. it's Miles Davis, Birth of the Cool, but he sounds a lot more like Fred Sanford for some reason. Oh, oh. it's the cigarettes! It's oh. all the cigarettes, you jackass! Do you have what do you know? In the afterlife? I, I just, I, I, well, uh, I've yeah! heard... Yeah! In the afterlife, you can smoke as much as you want. Oh! It's hey. beautiful! That's so you... what clouds are! So Just, uh, cl clear something up for me here, real quick, though, because I, I, we, I had a, I had a thing with my buddy yeah. here, and I want to make make it clear. Would you ever touch my yeah. stereo? Like, if if it was too loud, would you come in here uh, as a ghost yeah. and change it? I, if I could use, if I could use my ghost fingers, I'd pick it up and cram it down your throat with that goddamn Gregorian chance. See, at this least is, this, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know why a he ghost just won't would tell fuck you the with truth. My stereo. I, because yeah. I'm yeah, if I'm I could, a, but I can't. Because, I'm, okay. I'm a 
I mean, distinction that doesn't matter here. I just, I'm just saying, I was not crazy for thinking a ghost would turn down the volume on my stereo. That's all I'm saying, man. I, I would like to ask a question, sir. Uh, now that we're talking to someone from, yeah. that is crossed over, so clouds are in fact just uh, exhaled cigarette smoke from the afterlife. Jazz cigarettes. Oh, oh, yeah. so heroin. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. It's okay. so great up there, man. You wouldn't know. Well, you will know. You're going to be up there. This guy, Gregorian Chance. Ugh. Oh, I, wait, I'm coming? <laughs> Whoa, there's yeah. just a dismissive You got energy style. Here. You got grace. You got taste. You got I pizzazz, love that. man. Hey, uh. This guy's weak. I. Whoa, that's not cool, man. Sometimes, listen. Um, sometimes. I like this the, ghost. The truth is, dude, it's one of the greatest trumpeters of all time. I have no idea. Who it's he not is. whether or not you like him. It's you have to just respect him. For okay, who he well, he's is kind of a dick. Done. Why would I respect him? He's kind of a dick. Well, yes, all he... geniuses are dicks. You'll see that once. You, this guy's gonna see that once he's up in heaven, and Elvis is giving him the cold shoulder. Wait, you... he pretends he doesn't know my name. So I am going to heaven. All right, cool. That's no, fine. no, no! You're not going to heaven. You're right here. I'm in. going to heaven. Okay, I'm so, yeah. so confused here. You're pointing all over the place. You're referring to us. It's you are not a good communicator, man. Mr. Mr. Davis, say. Mr. Davis, sir. Um, do I do you? So do you, do you have to be a genius to get into heaven? Is that what I'm understanding? No, uh, you don't have to be a genius to get in heaven. You just get better <laughs> seats. Oh, okay. So it is. It's very much like Earth, is what I'm hearing. Heaven. Yeah, it's pretty much geniuses and rich guys up front. Every other dickweed in the back. What's can I ask uh, one last question, sir? Uh, it, what's parking like in heaven? Is it? Hey is man, it... as many as you want. Oh as okay. Many as you want. Okay. And uh, what's the parking situation in heaven? Is it is it uh, plentiful? Uh, is it all pretty great? Yeah. Everybody gets a golf cart, and as soon as you get there, it disappears, turns into your halo. Oh. Oh, so halos are a real thing. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like Bermuda, except. That's what you said with heroin. Wait, I'm I what? <laughs> Bermuda, you know, there's not a lot of cars. Small. Oh, vehicles. okay, yeah. I got you now. I was, I'm sorry. Oh, I, for that's some right. reason, you haven't been to Bermuda yet. That's no, how I you wind not. up in heaven. Oh, oh, you know how I die? Uh, yeah, of course I know. This is something I've always, I've, I'm very interested I, in. You don't have to okay, tell me yeah. when, but I, what is the actual circumstance? Is it a violent death? Is it, a, is it a peaceful death? Is it something? Is it well earned? Is it a is it a good death as a um, as a Klingon might say? I mean, do you want me to say it in front of this guy? Welcome uh. to Bermuda. I'm so glad you've chosen to stash all of your money you don't want taxed by the United States here. Don't worry, it'll be totally safe with us, just as safe as your life in our hands. That was a very odd preamble to uh, my banking um, situation here, but I uh, thank you. I will say. And here is all of my cash U.S. American dollars. Great. And here's my gun. Oh! Ow! You <laughs> shot me in the vital organs! Oh. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Ow! You shot me in the leftover vital organs and a couple in my head. Made the front page of every paper. Ah. Uh. That was, uh, that they was said he way... must have reloaded eight or nine times. <laughs> I... That's one of the reasons you get in heaven. They were like, that's that tough SOB. He's got to be up here with us. I'm I'm glad I earned my way into heaven um, because I'm, I'm looking for the parking situation. Um, I, that was a that was a horrible way to die, though. I, I, but, I, you know, if it got me into heaven, who am I to complain? Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. Can, can, can I, I still write my roommate? Like... Yeah, yeah, I was I was kind of curious. At this point, like, you, you apparently are implying I'm going to the bad place, but, like, how? What happens for me? Well, was, well what's my death like, man? Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't wind up in the bad place. You're not even cool enough for that. What? Yeah, your death. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, man. You sure you want me to tell you in front of this guy? <laughs> yeah, please. What's happened to you is that you've fallen into the liminal space in time and in space, and you're not supposed to be here, so basically what's going to happen is all your molecules are just floating away right now into different 
areas of space and time. Wow. So That's uh, kind of chill. It's very painful. Your head's already gone. And your oh. arms and your feet. Anyway, that bye. Explains some shit. Hope you hope you have hope you have a nice uh, trip wherever you're going. Why does it smell like fettuccine Alfredo in here? It's my cake. Legit. <laughs> oh man, uh, you know what? This season of the Super Legit Podcast, uh, like every previous season of the Super Legit Podcast, <laughs> is paid for by our sponsors. Uh, Chris Sanders, I think you have our sponsor file for this week's episode. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I do. I'm not happy that I... Uh, look, I didn't... They came to us. I didn't bring this one. It just... Uh, I'll just play. They pay the bills. I'll just play the same. All that matters. Pardon me, fellow human. Were you talking to me? I hope you weren't just talking to me because now I have to tell you how much of a loser you are. Unlike me, J.D. Vance, who is not a loser. It's okay. Even though you're a loser, I still love you just like I love my wife. Now, I know you're asking yourself, how can I fix this? Well, undecided voter, you can go to the same school I recently graduated from, the school of not being a loser. At the school of not being a loser, you'll learn exactly that through classes that really challenge your positively toxic masculinity, like your shoes are untied, haha, made you look, and fuck you, nerd. I know you think this must cost a fortune, but you'd be wrong. All it costs is your own dignity. When you show up to class on your first day, you'll be asking yourself, how is it in your mom's basement? Look, I honestly don't know how, because I can't meet the intellectual capacity that is the dean of the school of not being a loser, star of baby geniuses, John Voigt. Oh, he's not here. I just don't know how to inflect or gesture properly. The school of not being a loser, what are you waiting for? I'm not one. So uh, could could I uh, could I get inside one of those Boston creams or? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I see the problem. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Ooh. That shit fucking ruled. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they paid really well. Ooh. Yeah. So, really, uh, really I well. Mean, they gave us a really good check. Did did it? Did anyone cash that check yet? Yes, sir. Getting sweaters in a few weeks. Okay. Wait, that's how they paid us in sweaters? Mm hmm. You guys wanted sweaters. We talked about sweaters, getting new sweaters. I got you sweaters. Bing, bang, boom. You're welcome. We, right, but we needed money more than we needed sweaters. Ah, uh, says the guy who has no sweaters. Okay, sure. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, that's uncomfortable. Um,. Does anyone have the superpower for getting rid of sweaters? Is that a is that is that an interesting one? Because that's not my choice, but I'm just trying to Mothman. Mothman. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Weezer yeah. man. Oh, well done. Sir. <laughs> yes. Deeper cut. Uh, I like it. Uh, what else we got here? I'd love to hear some other angles on the uh, the superhero game. What about you, Jet? What about you? Yeah, toasty hosty. Yeah. I mean, yeah, jerk. Yeah. Heel turn, remember? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> asshole, what's your? <laughs> That's right. Yes, let's bring that back. Oh, as usual, I don't prepare for the questions that I provide, uh, that uh, our guests provide, our uh, listeners, listeners provide them. Yeah, um, those sweaters are looking pretty good right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, but I do feel like one of the ones I've, I've definitely uh, wanted the most for purely practical reasons is teleportation. The ability to just jump from one place to another. Right. Fuck commuting. Fuck airplanes, boats, all the forms of travel. Just I want to immediately be where I need to be. I could save so much time, so much effort by just immediately okay. being where I want to be. Yes. But what about the philosophical part where it's about the journey and not the destination? Are you like, yeah, yeah, Ooh. fuck that personal growth along the journey. I just want to get there. I, I'm not sure how much journey personal growth I've ever had alone on the 405 for an hour. <laughs> um, so I feel like I'm pretty good skipping that one. Road trip with my buddies, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll bite my tongue and deal with it for, for, the, for it. And I was like, okay, this is fine. This is about the journey. But Can you bring uh, stuff? Like a suitcase? 
Because I, I wouldn't want to go to Europe person. if I can't bring a suitcase. So, so I'm gonna guess that uh, the the Point. the hilarious weakness is no, I can't bring anything, oh. including clothes. Oh. Well, if you can teleport, <laughs> you can just teleport yourself right into Harrods or wh- wherever you're going, like into right. a department store. Yes. Um, and right into the, the clothes, room. Yeah. and then yeah. um, teleport yep. right back out to the street. You're fine. I, I feel well, like no, but uh, then the clothes wouldn't come with me, and I'd be back naked on the street. Oh wait. Oh, so this is like a. Um, yeah, uh, like yeah, a, a Terminator thing, thing where uh, you just you uh, go naked. Point of order: uh, Would that not be a crime? <laughs> uh, excuse me, <laughs> a pardon. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes, I thought we were Hello? against those, weren't we? I thought there was a philosophical moral ground. <laughs> mm. uh, I love that Jen's like. This Touché. is what you sound like. Uh, that was a perfect. That was a perfect. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 that mimicked each and every one of you yeah. perfectly. Uh, yes. That's yeah, exactly. Okay. Sound so, like in my head. all right. So, all Jet, Jet tell yeah. all of Jet teleports all except for his bangs. <laughs> 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 and then Jen is there to fill them in for me. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, I got to say, that, Jet, too. This yeah. is personally hurtful for me that oh. you, you made this choice. Because you, and this isn't part of the heel turn, but it Ooh. fits. Oh, you're our fearless leader, ah. and yet people listen to podcasts mm-hmm. when they're stuck in traffic on commutes. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. In fact, that's when I listen to our podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, awkward. So now the 405 is pretty fucking great, right? Because mm, it's hilarious the every Wednesday. Face in response to the voice I just pulled. No, nah, uh, listen to what you said. You're you're, you're fine. Okay, all right, good. Just, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. fear, fearless you know, leader. You just have discomfort okay. with the whole thing that we're doing here, Josh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, oh, I uh, hat here that says showrunner. Sorry, showrunner, I yeah, did not so mean that Jet is our fearless leader. No, I apologize. You, you said what you said. Jet is no, our oh. fearful leader. Jet. Mm. Headless <sighs> leader. This is, is that more accurate? Yeah. Is this that is better? True. Yeah, yes. okay. I'm, yeah, I'm okay with this. Point yeah. of order. Yeah, motion yeah. stands. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's. Uh, I think. I think that's the one I'm going to go with, especially uh, since it ha- does have a. T- uh, would you still be able to it? drive from time to time? Like, could you choose, or would it be like I, you I have to teleport? Everywhere? Yeah, no, I wouldn't lose the ability to drive. It would just okay. give me the ability. Yeah, and especially if, say if I wanted to arrive somewhere in clothes, I'd probably kind of have to do that. Yeah, but I feel like I could otherwise, for instance, maybe have a private closet at my office that has clothes in it, so that I could just teleport into my office, throw clothes on, get to work at the end of the day, put take them off, and teleport back. Home? This sounds a lot like Batman. Sounds you, right. You, yeah, you, you get your own thing. You dress up when you want. You, you, yeah. Right. Which, which version uh, of Batman I, have you been I, watching? I, yeah. I don't remember it's, the part where Batman shows up naked and it's like, uh, hey, Ward, could you hand me those bat underwear? Batman <laughs> like, that was after this, dark. Batman XXX, yes. Batterwear? <laughs> That's a thing. Super. Okay, everybody. Uh, so we're uh, welcome to the set of Batman and Beautiful Woman. This is a uh, softcore uh, set. Everybody knows that. So what mm-hmm. we're going to start with is over here in the Bat Cave. Uh, uh, Batman, can you come over here, Batman? I'm here. Can you, can... I'm okay, here. great. All right. Okay, great. And I Wait, see you're already... You... Who, who am I fucking today? Where is okay, she? Um... <laughs> Where yeah, is right she? <laughs> She's literally standing right in front of you. Her name is Valerie. This is Valerie. Valerie, this is Batman. Oh. Hi. Okay. Hi, Val. So, How's it Val- going? Valerie, just so you know, yeah. uh-huh. his real name is Dirk, but he doesn't like to be called Dirk on set, so just call him Batman all the time. I'm Batman. I, I know. Tell. I know. I just, I do the ditzy thing because they like it. It makes them feel more powerful, but I did all my research. Oh. I know. I thank know. God, I okay. love a professional. You make my life so much easier. Of course. I got this. I know okay. it's a job. I love it. Oh, okay. Batman. I'm sorry. I was looking oh at crafty God, services. So I can't hot. turn my head very well. What were you guys yeah, talking so about? So as you can see, Batman, um, I'll he do has all the head turning. He has the you. cowl and then a cape attached, and then the boots and nothing else. So that's his costume for this. So he's just it's just the head piece, and then the rest of him is nude, except for bat wings just on either side of his business. 
Right. Um, yes. You want to see, and of course, this is soft core, so we all understand that means no visible arousal. Correct. So that, correct. All so right. what? So well, the, 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 the yeah. bat stays sleeping the entire time. What happens is when he climaxes, the bats fly off of and fly up into the air. <laughs> so that's how we suggest it. Hmm. Any rate, um, I'm going to leave. Wait, wait, I've been doing, you. I've been doing insane kegels for months. So that when I and come, I, it's shaped like a batarang. And we're going to see all of that inside, Batman. All of that's going to come across your face. And I don't oh, mean come across your inside face. Inside mean Batman? be revealed across your face. Okay. I just want to make sure, because I thought he was... Okay. All, all over me, not inside Batman. Okay. Oh, yeah. wait. You know, I, I get it. Right. So when I yes. come all over her face, the whole time I realize I've been fucking Clayface. Clayface, I don't um, know. No, it's sweetheart. No, 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 uh, no. Okay. It's actually just Valerie in this film. Yes. But right. if you want to imagine that it's Clayface, you can do that, Batman. Whatever you motivations want. you need, sweetheart. Batman, Batman. Oh my God, sexy Batman. So this area of the cave is squishy like a mattress, so you won't get hurt. But you're gonna, you're, she's gonna be tied Wait, to not, this back I'm not gonna get hurt. Neither one of you will get hurt. Of course you wouldn't get hurt. You're Batman. You're, you're so strong. You are sure, you're sure. You're sure. You're sure neither of us are going to get hurt. Neither of us? I you, should hope I'm not going to Neither gonna of you. The, the big, strong I need you to swear. Keep that from happening. I need you to swear we're not going to get hurt. Swear to me! Uh, hey, Elizabeth. I just wanted to pop in and be like, you are, I think, crushing it out there as our intimacy coordinator. Thanks. Uh, you are doing such a good job. And I just want you to know, as, as the producer, I totally have your back on this, okay? I just, you. I just need you to know that. Thank you so much. I actually have been having some troubles with um, Dirk because he insists on being called what? Batman. And also, I found oh. he's actually been keeping live bats in his trailer and because he says it motivates him. And um, and he just keeps it like he understands this is a softcore thing, but he's like, I'm coming all over Clayface's face. And I just like, yeah, it's really yeah. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. I'm trying to pull him back. But because he's the Batman, mm. he just keeps making threats to me. Yeah. Well, I will say um, as a producer, um, I want you to use your own creativity to just intimately coordinate that away if you could. Dad. So, Elizabeth, I just want you to know, I'm here to support you in whatever way I can. I'm just not going to help you with that particular issue. But if there's anything else, anything at all, maybe something easier, um, I could I could help with that. Ah, uh, that is literally the entirety of my job. So I don't know how to make it. Maybe you could just come and stand next yeah, to me while I talk yeah. to Batman and Valerie or Dirk. Um, Would you mind? Hmm, okay. It's just, they're I don't literally wanna, like, right outside I, I, I here. Feel like, I feel like I feel like I feel like I would be undermining you, and I want them to know that you have my full support without me having to be there. Like I'm your big brother or something like that. So, would you guys I, care for a poke bowl? I'm just passing these during the break. Poke bowl? Uh, Anybody? Sure, I'll have a poke bowl. Oh, there you go, sir. Thank would you, you care God. for a poke bowl? Uh, no, thank you. My trainer says I can't have anything other than wheat gum. Wheat oh. gum? Okay, I will. I will speak with our chef and see if we can't get on that. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I keep it. That's what the pack is for. So, so Elizabeth, I, I want you to know that, uh, you know what? Um, actually, you know what? Come here. I'm yeah, sorry. Yes, um, yeah. Uh, you're, the, you're the associate producer, right? Um, yes, I that's why I'm passing out Poke Bowls. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. okay. Uh, I'm, uh, you know what? What I, what I actually, what I minored in, like in, in college. Would you like to be promoted? Yes, I would. Yes. What do I need to do? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to be promoted to assistant intimacy coordinator oh my god that would help oh. me so much and what does that yes it, yes okay. yes i will yes absolutely I, let's go outside right now because i need you to talk to the batman do you mind can we just go i'm just gonna pull your hand i'm gonna put this poke bowl down come out here um, uh 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 batman valerie um that this is what was your Rachel! Name? this coffee is cold go get me another one. Oh, okay um you see what uh, i'm dealing with here? i do um, I'm just going to stand next to you and give you moral support. Hope that hurt. helps. Uh, that doesn't help at all. Okay. I, okay. Okay. Um, so my Dirk, you're Liz. doing a great job, Dirk. 
You were doing Don't a great job. Don't Dirk. He will kill you. Oh, you. I mean, I the Batman. Sorry, You're doing a great I'm job, cowl, the Batman. My cowl plugs my ears a little bit sometimes. It's hard it's to It's interesting that he, you things. didn't have an issue with a man calling you Dirk. I didn't, you get who called me Dirk? I'm not Dirk. I'm Batman. Mm. Well, uh, Valerie, I have a um, what's traditionally known as a penis, so it's okay. Oh, well, I like those. Every man has to remind me of his penis. It's it's like that all over the set. Every person here will remind you of their penis. Um, well, Your I job you, is really easy, exceedingly easy. It's not easy at all because the Batman keeps threatening my life. Um, but uh, well, uh, look, I okay. heard I heard that. I don't I don't know any time that I've threatened your life. Well, Batman you did say doesn't kill people. Batman only saves lives and makes glorious incredible love to hot, attractive females. Oh, God damn it! Your bats just, just flew away. God damn I it, now I gotta can... get those. <laughs> Don't worry. Just, just, Someone just, once just. told me it's not how you do, people. But, no, never mind. You called the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where's the line between Sanders, Dirk, and then Dirk and Batman? And it's yeah. all blending together. <laughs> He's too method for method. He's all oh. one. Oh, that that's that sounds like a season three premiere uh, scene right there. Oh, we got into more superheroes though. Uh, well, the one without powers, except yeah. for the coming batterings. Oh boy, sorry yeah. about that. Is that the superpower <laughs> or the wealth. weakness? Yeah, the most. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the most popular superpower in America. Uh. I'm wondering if Spencey Spence uh, has anything tonight. Uh, yeah, if I had a superpower, I would want to be like Colossus and just uh, made out of steel, infinite strength. Uh, I would do all the like strongman tricks. I'd be great at like parties for party tricks. Mm -hmm. um, famous, famous features of his. Yeah. I'd like to, uh, you know, get like a 999 on the choose your strength punch bag. Uh, just have all the records, all all for just like real mundane purposes, stuff like that. Opening pickle jars with like pinkies. Um, <laughs> my weakness would be cookies. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> weakness. Uh, let's 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 expand on that uh, that weakness there a little bit. Uh, uh, is your weakness just you really like cookies, or do they do something to you? Uh, yeah, I would I would turn blue and felt, kind of like the beast, <laughs> and my eyes would get super googly, uh -huh. and I would just and would the cookies just rah, rah, seem to crumble out of your mouth as though you weren't even uh, consuming just, them? Me love cookie, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> but that that seems. That is that is certainly a weakness in seems some perfect. situations. I but know, it seems like you, a superpower, but it when is, you yeah. go up against the Cookie Man, you're the guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Famous X Men villain, the Cookie Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's it. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a Disney Plus series. Yeah. <laughs> so if somebody came to you and was like, Chip "Ahoy," we <laughs> there we it is need to. We need your colossal strength to do something that would like save a bunch of people. You would refuse because it wouldn't be mundane. Uh, well, it depends what it is. Like, it, like, like a whole bunch of people that are stuck in the bus. I would like open the door and then have everybody come out. Like, what if the bus was like fall about to fall and it started to fall? Would you catch it in your colossus hand or no? No, I would just like lay down because that's a, <laughs> and then they can land on me. Okay, and so it's you, crun you would do crunches. <laughs> so it's and like while you're doing crunches, the minimal, it would just to land on the you. minimal act action. Yeah, that, that I would okay. just you do it begrudgingly. <laughs> you'd have a sandwich in one hand and just, your arm, uh, and and you'd be mostly just focused on eating the sandwich. A hundred percent. I can yeah. see him just like pushing Girl Scouts away from his door. No! In the face, no! just like tossing them. <laughs> Super. No, no, no. You can't ask Colossus to save those people on the bus. He won't do it. Colossus, can you make change for all those people on the bus? Uh, just, just, we need you to grab that bus so you can make change for them. They, they don't have exact fare. Hey, um, I'm Cookie Man. Uh, how you guys doing? 
I'd be happy <laughs> to help you guys out with exact change, but I'm going to need a little bit of personal information from you guys first. So, uh, who's willing <laughs> to just say yes? No, no he's going to sell it! No, don't, don't let him! Don't let him know! He's going to... Do I just say... You're do gonna I get accept? So many text messages. I accept. Just I accept. accept. Um, oh, here's, yeah. I'm, here's no, your change. You can manage those in this state. No! Ex exact change for you, sir. I'll, oh, thank you. I'll, it's a cheat day for me, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the exact change. There you are. Uh, just click uh, accept. Yeah, done. Excellent. Colossus, is it not mundane enough to stop these people's personal information from being leaked all over the internet? You bastard. I am Cookie Man. Now I see why they didn't bring you back in the cartoon reboot, you son of a fuck. <sighs> Yeah. Cut, cut. Yeah, um, okay, so just everybody come. Now the Batman is going to come in, and he's going to... Valerie's at the back of the bus, so he's just going to go to the back of the bus and... Oh, I'm um, sorry, so I didn't know I, didn't know I was here. coming. I just came. I didn't know... Did you want... I, I'm going to need a few <sighs> minutes. Okay, reset to zero. Colossus, can you go back? Uh, can we get the bus lifted up, back up onto the bridge, and everybody back... Uh, into places. Like you just, you just, you uh, literally uh, just had me fucking Nikki Vale. Or Vale. Uh, well, what was her name? Uh, well, Valerie? Val. Hello, Valerie Val. here. She's at the back of the bus. Let's just reset to zero, everybody. Oh. This is, this is what I have to deal with. May I just say, I, I enjoy playing Cookie uh, Man, but, um, you should know I have done Summer Stock, and this is beneath me, but, um, a check is a check. I that, I just had to say it. I I will go back to one. Okay, but just to clarify, we will not. Um, you're actually being paid in sweaters. So. Um, oh, three I sweaters. swear this company is my bane. Legit. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, say nailed, legit. Nailed it I'm... on the. At this point in the recording process, my camera and audio cut out, plunging everyone into mass confusion. This is kind of like at school when the teacher goes out of the room and you kind of don't know uh, if you should, like, fuck around with your friends or if yeah. you're about to get caught. Oh, hey, Jeff. Because my camera hey, disappeared back, for a moment. Buddy. Yeah, easy. Oh, hey. easy I didn't know if we were point. still recording. Easy oh, edit, yeah. edit, edit, edit yeah. point. So just your camera <laughs> fucked up. You could still hear everything. Yeah, I could hear you oh, fine okay. and everything. Yeah, I okay. wasn't camera sure right. if it, like, made Stupid. the whole thing go away. Did you hear uh, Stephen C. James's uh, heel rant about you? It was great. <laughs> I've never heard yeah. so many marks explain. Let's go back in time and hear it. And another thing about Jet Lennon Kaufman <laughs> is that there is no way he should be hosting this show. He should be toast on this show. All he does is boast on this show. There's about a roast on this show. He's about to be a ghost on this show. Because there is no way that he can make it through season three if he's going to have to face me. And I think that's it for our show. <laughs> I think that just brings it to a close at that point because uh, I can't stand up to that. I'm sorry. I, I, I know... We're supposed to have this epic battle here between you and me and you as the, the heel are, are, are the one who's supposed to come on strong and I'm supposed to stand up to you, but I don't have it in me. I, I work really hard, guys, to put on a really good podcast for you to host and to edit, and I, I don't feel appreciated now. I Thank you to Matt Walker for our intro and outro music. Every scene you heard today was improved on the spot. Uh, improvised on the spot, I mean. <laughs> and improved. <laughs> Along with some of the ads and, and edited so that you don't have to hear me cry. That's where the uh, improved part comes in. If folks. you're loving what we're doing, pause just real quick and just write a five-star review before you close the app about how great the show was. Um, maybe if yeah, you, you like the cry. host, you can mention how good the host was. <laughs> Even if no one else appreciates the work he's doing and, and, and tell your friends about us and at least the ones you liked if not if not the host if you want to submit your own question Cut for the, the show chase, Jet. 
p.m. or tag us on Instagram, Facebook, or threads, or email us at contact at superlegitpod.com. Tonight's cast included me, your host, Jared Lennon Kaufman, uh, Josh Spence, Jen Burton, Chris Quit Sanders. Crying. Don't hit me, Stephen C. James. Uh, Sean Michael Boozer. I tried, guys. I tried really hard. I love you guys. Well, I'm excited about season three. I think it's going to be great. I mean, yeah. It's, you got me right with that folding chair of empathy. I don't believe anything's on Oh my time I kick the door on its hinges just so I could move That's How do show. these batterings made a cum taste? <laughs> they weren't made of cum. They just flew away when you came. That was the bat. That's so good then he comes batter. Bat. <laughs> that made of it. That's gross. <laughs> That's the gross part.